at ease. So, Dear Sergeant Fury here. Welcome to Subscriber Sunday Show. And yes, it's Easter, so if you're religious, then up from the grave he arose. And if you're not, then good Easter egg hunting. And I hope you got a basket full of fucking chocolates and, you know, go cosmetose and turn type 2 diabetic. There you go. If you don't give a shit either way like me, then there you go. You know, Americans, besides Val Valentine's Day, this is the most that Americans spend, like, three billion fucking dollars on crap. You know, like baskets and bunnies and cards and shit that's gonna get thrown in the trash. <clears throat> Chinese love us, man. People are like, like, like how do the Chinese make money? They make money from Valentine's Day, right? Easter. Fourth of July, Halloween is huge, man. 98% of all the fucking costumes we get for Halloween come from China, and they're all flammable. Like, all of them are flammable. Like, if your kid gets by a flame, you know how people have pumpkins on their porch with candles? Oh yeah, that's the, not only will it catch on fire, it sticks to your fucking kid while it burns. See? Oh yeah. This is, Chinese will tell you they don't know anything about that. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Alright. So, if you remember correctly, I was over here in this game. Let me go tell Elon over on Planet X that we're screaming. So he doesn't flip out. Oh my god, you're out in the cyber truck. I'm gonna watch you. You know, little messies. I don't believe him. Alright, I'm gonna go post this over on Discord. Is that? Is that good? I gave him a little screaming. Yeah, plus I'm too old for frickin' Easter. You know what I mean? I don't see no Easter shit. But that's cool, man. Like I said, you guys celebrated. Fantastic, man. More power to you. So, what's the plan? I'm actually really starting to like this game. Like I said, I can see right away where Starfield is trying to fucking be like this game. And they totally flunked out and failed, man, like, miserably. Alright, oh, so we're doing some shit over here. Alright, cool. Now comes the power. Power to the people. Alright. So what do we gotta do next? Then? Over here, do some chisels over here. Alright. Yeah, we're here at the thermal power station. Remember we had to go to this fucking planet? This, this, uh, can I go like, does it show like outside? What the hell is that? Hold on, I hear some noise.
must be hearing things. I must be hearing things. Uh, you know what it is? It's probably my surround sound speakers, and it's in the fucking game. That's happened before. Go. Silly of me. Yeah. That has happened a few times. All right. So anyways. Yeah, what's so weird is for some reason I can't see, like, how many people are watching the stream. Let me go over here and try to figure this shit out. Because it normally shows me, like, you know, how many people are here and all that crap. Yeah, for some fucking reason, I can't see that shit. It's not, not showing it. It's, like, really weird. Yeah, show how many viewers like this stream, show how many people are watching the stream, but I don't, I don't see that though. Hmm, weird. Engage with your audience. I don't know why it's doing this. It's like really weird. doing this oh there it goes now it's showing it oh all right cool nice I think we got it I think we might have it working now yeah why has it got that weird bar thing on there. Here it is, this thing over here. Ah, I figured out where that is at. All right, cool, so I got that working. Holy crap, man. All right, got shit working right. It's supposed to be like 40 degrees here today, so snow's supposed to melt, we'll see. I put the link in the description. If you're on PC, this game's free. Come Thursday on the 4th, and it's definitely worth getting. It puts fucking. It puts Starfield and frickin' No Man's Sky. It's a shame, man. That's all I can tell you. It, it makes those games look like. Yeah, this, this one is so much better, man. So much better. Amazingly better. So, 
And this is their newest addition they came out with last year. This is the Spacer's Choice. Once we do this, there's no going back. Okay. Yeah, because this thing... Hey, mister. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but uh -huh. I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Yeah, because this power station is only operating at 22%. Right? And it's got all this damaged equipment because I went in there and looked at all these fucking logs. So it's not like they're outputting power. So they must be getting their power in the town from some other place, right? Does that make sense? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their oh lives God. the only way they know It's how. either them or the fucking deserters power deserve supply. Lady, take a fucking choice, man. Uh, yeah, Edgewater's gonna die without the workers' power. Deserters are a community that can't just destroy what they built. Uh, what the hell? Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. Holy shit. It's plain to see she's made the veil a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? No. Like I said, I think the town should live because it's a whole town and that other lady's on a little dinky settlement. So no. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... Oh I felt like I had to say something. No problem. Really? Sure. I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. Oh my god, so now what are we gonna do? Twenty-two percent efficiency. All right. So if I don't want to do this, then what do I do? Holy fuck! Uh, yeah, because I tried to go and do hers, and this one didn't work. Oh, let's see if I can do that one. And not do this one. Fuck out of 
out of here. So where's this other one at? That's where we need to go. But sure looks like it wants us to fucking do this shit over here, huh? Uh, yeah, because I tried to go over there and do the other one, it wouldn't let me do it. It like it wouldn't let me take the fucking power thingy out, so fuck it. Let's just do this. See what happens. Let me save. Oh, I can do either the edge water. Ah. See? Oh yeah, we did the right thing. We did the right thing. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Perkies. Mm -hmm -hmm. Not yet, huh? Nope. Vendor price is less money. 20% discount. I'll take that. Cool. Oh, it still says I have 10 available. Okay, what, I didn't fucking apply it? Power attack. Nice. Journal. All right. Oh, divert power. Retrieve the power regulator. You divert power from the botanical lab. Now we gotta go there. Okay, cool. All right, I can do that. PT.
unexpected. Beginning security. Got to heal myself. Stupid. That's okay. Unexpected. So here they come. Too much fun. Oh yeah. And you make sure you can uh, watch this in 1080 or 2K. Your choice. And my health up for health. She does fine. I have her set up to attack automatically, so I don't even have to direct her. And all that crap you see on the screen, I'm going to be doing a video on how to get rid of all that stuff because I don't like it. I don't need it. For the most part. Or make it smaller, it's a little bit big. I think I can reduce the size. All this stuff up there in the upper left. Yeah, her and then my, tells me what keys to press and all that, yep. You have to go into a I and I file and then turn all that shit off. Yeah, with the fucking price of eggs, you know, like eight fucking dollars a, a dozen, man. People are going to be spending a lot of money for Easter egg hunting for their for kids. They just use the plastic ones. <coughs> you know what I mean? At least that way you can put, like, we started using those even when I was a kid. They had the plastic ones. And they could put jelly beans in it, right, and little, you know, other chocolate eggs and bunnies and crap. So even back then, in the fucking late 50s and 60s, they had plastic ones. Ready when you are. Yeah, I got new armor too, man. I found this armor off this dude. So I just have to upgrade my helmet. I'm rocking some good armor now. So that crappy suit. I believe I can put armor on her too. Let me go see. Oh uh, yeah, here we go. Cause she's rocking a seven. So here's a nine. Here we go. But that's just that chest piece. It's sort of dorky, huh? Was better than nothing. And then weapons. What is she rocking? Oh, she can't use that to level five. 
She can use that though. Oh no, she can use this. Oh yeah. Oh hell yeah, give it up. Why can't I give her the machine gun? Oh, she can only have one. All right. Cool. I'll give her a machine gun. And no perks are available. Yep. Cool. And I need to get her a helmet. Next time we go to the vendor, we get you a helmet there, sweetie. It's a better, better outfit. Yeah. I promise. Come the ones uh, inside when we hack that panel. We're like, I'm coming. Sweeping the area. better that time. What the hell happened last time? We got our butts kicked, man. Cool. Oh yeah, this game got kicked out of everything, man. Processes. Here they come! Just goes in this other door. That's all.
was quite surprised when I started this up yesterday. How enjoyable this was. It's like, wow, man. Quite surprised. Cool. And it's free. <laughs> it's like, so I paid a hundred dollars for a piece of shit fucking Starfield, and this one is so much better than Starfield could ever even attempt to be. And it's free. I was like, wow, what's wrong with this picture, man? Hmm? Amazing, huh? It's totally free. And we're only on one planet. We haven't even really started getting going. We're trying to get our ship going so we can go look for our lar our main ship. Well, I'm quite surprised at this game. Quite surprised. So I told N7 about it because he's all into the Mass Effect and this thing, this is like Mass Effect, No Man's Sky, and Starfield all rolled into one and better. This guy picked up that assault rifle off that dude, off of this guy in the, in the armor. And it is open world, so it's not linear where you're stuck. You know, just going in one place. Because a lot of these Marauder dudes are like every fucking way. Like over there is the whole Marauder camp city area. So you get better, you know, if we're still here, you can go fuck them up. Or... Now these people are going to be all pissed off, I think. So I'm not quite sure what to expect over here. We'll have to see what's going to happen. They might be a little upset. Okay, we got 26 more rounds for this assault rifle. Oh, I got my LMG. Yeah, they might be a little pissed off because we just shut their shit down, but fuck, I mean, you have a choice of shutting down a whole town, right? Or shutting down these people in their old botanical lab. Come on, man. Can't shut down a whole entire town that has a factory. You know, granted, the people may not be making a lot of money and all that, but it's still it's better off than what's going on. And this lady, you know, she could have compromised. She even said, "Come back," and blah 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 blah. Nope. So right off the bat, the first two hours, you get all these decisions, and we have all the side shit going on too. Um, so you have all these side quests. We haven't botched anything yet, see? Haven't completed, but you got these to do also. Got to do this robot, be kindred spirits. So we don't have to go get this thing right now. We can go over here and try to kill this robot. Yeah, let's see where that one's at. Where's the die robot, see? It's over here somewhere. So let's go do that one. And hold off. Let's do the robot first. Yeah, so, you know, we used to... Primal Nest discovered. Is that like a good thing or a bad thing? Long. Yeah, I used to do that with my kids. I had three sons, so. Oh, yeah, see, here's these Marauder dudes. Gotta be careful of them. I don't know how much strength and shit I have, so. Next time I upgrade my shit. 
I need a long range sniper type rifle. Oh, that looks so fucking cool, man. Yeah, this thing puts Starfield to fucking shame, man. Totally puts Starfield to shame. That's what those little white triangles are. Did I say COVID meat? I swear to God, that's a COVID meat. Yeah, because worth the COVID meat. Yeah, that was pretty cool there, girl. You're great, man. Both of us have an LMD work. Great. You have three auto save slots and three manual saves, so make sure you gotta save like all the freaking time in this thing. Just let you know. But yeah, I was so surprised this morning or yesterday when I first fired it up. Because I have No Man's Sky for you also. Uh, with uh, Microsoft Game Pass. And I tried that and it's too much of a tutorial, man. I mean, it's just like way, this is like, this tutorial was super quick. You know, how to jump, how to crouch, how to shoot. <laughs> like you know how to loot I was like okay let's go oh the other one's like crazy man go find a planet build this do that you know go get this part get that part it's like four hours later man we're still trying to get this ship off the ground and I was like yeah <clears throat> yeah this one's interesting we're only on the first planet I mean, we've got all sorts of crap going on here so again these whoops these marauder dudes, you could go after them, but you gotta be careful you don't get your ass kicked, so, you know, it's like, like everything in the game, but it's a very, very, very enjoyable, and it's free, this coming April 4th, an epic game, so if you're on PC, one of the best ones they've had in a while for free. And they do a lot. I was I have 78 games I've gotten for free and most of them are all AAA titles. You know, so not like they give away crap. robot one over here real quick but you can watch this in 2k so look at the little gear down on the bottom of the right hand bottom of the screen and you see a little gear and you can open that up and change it if you like I'm doing 4k also depends on you know, what you're watching it on in your system and all that. Tell that dude, huh? We oh, effed up this stuff. We oh, effed up this thing. Let's go inside of here. 
Very fallout-ish, too. But super easy to buy. Alright, we're getting him to put on our... Let me see here. Nope, 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 nope. Still the same crap. How about weapons? the LMG that works. Alright, cool. Probably all sorts of stuff with pillage here. Oh, yeah, let's go check it out. Uh, nobody's here watching this? Yeah, this totally feels StarCraft. place. 
something? Alright. Oh, wait, 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 let's see. Get out of here. Okay. Got weapons. They mm, still got these light assault rifles. I need a long range. That's all I need. Well, I don't need any medical. What do I got for mods? Oop, don't have enough of that. Gyro sight. Oh, that might be nice. Increase the range of which inner actable objects are highlighted. Huh. What's this other one? Oh, I read by the site. And then sell. We should have a shitload of these extra ones. What is that? that in blue.
Bravo. Thomas Lee, what's up there, young man? How you doing, bro? Did you install this yet? You said you were going to start playing this one, too. Just out of curiosity. Where's this guy at? What? Oh, this way. Take the old road. by the ocean yet. Wow, look, there's a ship right down there. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh, you're playing it now? And... Pretty amazing. I have to say I'm pretty amazed by it. Definitely surprised. Took me by surprise when I saw it. How nice it is. Yeah, I'm going to do all these little side questy things real quick. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Nope, me either. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Yep. Pulled its optic cables out its head case? Yep. Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. All right. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But an you alien are probe one. on it, man. And the enemy so is a legion. Probe. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike Holy fear in their cold, nice. mechanical hearts. Give it to me, baby. Cantina me. lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. Okay. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Nice. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. That's true. That's no way a robot needs a toilet. On the double, soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Yeah. You wish it had third person? Ah, uh, no you don't.
Go on. All right. Let's go get our uh, gun. Go behind the toilet. Plagues ever gonna pass. I don't know. You're not a big drinker, are you? Nope. Oh yeah, hey yeah. What'd we get? What did you just give me? Oh. oh. Now we have to take it back to him. God. I was going to get to use this thing. Well, at least we didn't have to go too far, huh? Hmm. What the fuck? Is that the wrong door? For fuck's sake. Russians yet? Yep. Why does it tell me to go out that door? In this fucking door. Well, we went out this door. <clears throat> I don't know why I can't go out the other door. Stupid. Fuck's sake, man, what is wrong with this game? It's like bizarre, I gotta go all the way. I don't know why it had me go out that one door and we were like right there and then I turn around and we're all the way back on this other side. And you can't sprint like continuously. I don't know why, but there's no sprint continuous key. That's that has something to do with my perk. All right, dude, come out here, man. It's too fucking dark in there, dude. Yeah. Come out here where we can see you, man. Thank God. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. What the? You just said that, man. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. Okay. I call it the hand of the law. Oh. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Okay. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. Mm. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. 
Great. You need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. Okay. Mm, yeah, what's going on now? A passcode, right? We don't know what. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. Huh. <clears throat> Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. <laughs> oh wow, I just happened to have one me. in my Gotta look into getting us a uniform. Prison pocket. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical horde. That was easy, huh? I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm so guessing you want you know, something. That's tactile. where we went down. Remember we went down the power so here's plant, a couple got of things for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. As long as it's not a fucking kiss. All right. Does it work, man? Okay, what do we want to modify? Do I have any, what do I have on this one? Because I don't even know what I have in my fucking inventory. I got that one, that pistol, that, that one, that one, and that one. Can we switch that with that? Okay. That's that one. Oh, these ones are modified, have a little wrench next to them. All right, so I see what's happening. Cool. Let's see how that, let's see how that works. That I would press the wrong fucking key in Discord, huh?
thing is really working on the railroad, huh? All right. They said you go to third person and uh, in the, uh, like when you're in the not do anything mode. Oh. I can sell that toss box. Break it down. Yeah. Oh, that's a shock stick that he, I just got. All right. I don't know what the hell he was talking about. All right. Well, get out of the way, dude. Bro, 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 that's it. All right, so we got that one done. Let's save. And then you can open up your journal. And we got that one we can do. Or we got that one we can do. Or we got this one. We have to collect, finish collecting the gravesite fees from these people. So let's, let's do that one. There you go. Easy peasy. Oh, you're playing 4K too? Yeah. It plays real easy too. It's very intuitive. Like I said, so I'm quite surprised. I found out how to run longer in this game. Go to settings and go to controls. Look for auto run. Ah, that I saw that, but I wasn't I wasn't sure about that. Thanks. Thomas. That's for the controller auto sprint. See, that's a controller, though. I don't have a controller. So, it's got to be someplace else for me. Hold on. Mm, let me go over here. Yeah, because I don't have a controller, so it's got to be over here. Auto sprint. Oh, hold on. Let's try this. Yeah, so you, got, you have that on the controller. I don't have that controller one. Let's see if that works. That worked for me, bro. Thanks, Thomas. Okay. I got the run. Got the run going on, man. I got the runs. <laughs> Damn it, Thomas. I got the runs, man. It's all your fault. Fuck. Poop in my butt. Dude, give me the fucking money, man. Whatever. Oh, sorry, Make it lady. Quick, tenderfoot. I'm busy. Wow. Guessing you're the foreman. Okay. Shit. Silas still on about that. Yep. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Nope. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy no. I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, right. which meant me. Uh. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. Uh. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Mm. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's hmm. choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Mm -hmm. Eugene wasn't family. 
Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. Oh I'm my God! Missing, so I pay the fines. <laughs> oh my God! The Suicide's closest crime. person relative the to his body at the time of his death. Property. Holy what Eugene shit! Did to himself was vandalism. All right, Thomas. Uh, vandalism. When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Holy shit. <sighs> All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our own lives. And this is only the first planet that you've got to. Cool. All right. Yeah, you know, we're just starting this whole thing. These guys all look like vampires in this well, fucking town. Well, you tell town. Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. And what are you doing here? Visiting? Well, well, let me give money. you a grand tour. This here's my domicile. And there's the door. Wow. Silas knows, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. That's why he sent you. Mm -hmm. That's why he wants me to pay up. Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows. I'm dying. I'm not long for this oh, world. Oh, that's why he looks all like the, the my eyes expiration like is fast like approaching. Oh. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. Mm -hmm. Don't say that, Mr. Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. Sure. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Okay, so I hear that. You've been paranoid. I've raised some pay me and get out of here. Yeah. I'll pay your fees. <laughs> I don't want any trouble from Silas. I just but want to get out of my game, dude. Freelancing for me, this whole fucking town is really like Drama Bill. Let me change the name of this town to Drama Bill Town. Holy shit. Okay, hold on. All right, depends on. Couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Uh, what? Hold on. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. 
I'll do what I can. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Oh, so no guards, but marauders. I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. Huh. I advise stepping softly. Great, 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 great. Yeah, what did you get? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Oh. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Mm-hmm. All right. So you'll do it then? Yeah. Sure. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Should it just not like constipated or what, something? Yeah. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. Mm. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Okay. Holy crikey, man. We got more shit we gotta do. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Why? Now why? What? Why? I think you did the rightest thing you could sending the power back to Edgewater. A lot of people would have suffered otherwise. People I care for. Even if they ain't care much for me. Alright. In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Sorry. I know it's none of my business. It's not like I think it a failing, mind. It's just I... I live right across the road. Most nights I watch folks out my window. When they come in here, they might be happy or sad. Uh, Mostly they're tired. Right. When they leave, they're mad at themselves. Mm. Or they stumble into the alley and I listen to their hearts breaking. Mm. Well, I'm one of them that can't, so I don't make a habit of drinking. Mm -hmm. Right, we done? Excuse me, I'm Esther Blaine, Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. Right. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Oh my Abernathy God. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. God. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. Okay, wait a second. Yeah, don't give it to him. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this <coughs> town longer than some of us been alive. Mm -hmm. How do I put this gently? Mm. He's a... Uh, he's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. Cob... Yeah, what do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Holy shit. All right, here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. That's all I can ask of you. Holy shit balls, man. The plot thickens, man. Huh. The plot thickens. Oh, 
I cut my own hair. What can I do for you? Oh yeah, dude, we need to, um... Alright, hold on. Both? You know about Eugene? Yeah. How? Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. Mm. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. I think Eugene's he's dead. golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. Mm. He took them to his grave. Mm -hmm. Right. That's unthinkable. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained mm -hmm. therein are solely the property of Spacer's choice. Welcome back, Thomas. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Yeah, you can. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. The good Vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but That's your point okay. is well taken. Here you are. Uh, gravesite papers affixed with my signature and right. an I O U. Two side ones done now. Okay. All right. Eugene was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was mm. the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. Right. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse. Uh -oh. And I discovered medicine in his pocket. Uh-oh. Lots of medicine. What? Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible uh. side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. Okay. So is it the town that ever paid penalty? We can all that. thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. Ah, good, Thomas. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. All right. But I need to talk to him about the medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Experience was my teacher. Experience and... So, you want to be an embalmer. Brochures 1 through 5. Courtesy of the Spacer's Choice Department of Career Development. Yeah, I only played it two, two days. Go I ahead. really like it. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work, not since the plague started. All right, okay. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, oh, yeah, I it is a shame. the whole shame. flag thing, yeah. All right. Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all okay. of us. So we get treat the ask best Dan among us. Me to think about the medicine again. Nature is monstrous, friend. And this plague is natural selection at work. We're getting close. Right. Go ahead. Mm, all right. So that's it. Fine. What else we got here? We got to do this medicine thing now. Good look on our journal. See what we got to do.
Hey, Miss Parvati. Yep. Lovely to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going all right, Silas? Been keeping him careful and true, Miss. Good. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches over him when I get... when I can't leave the house. Oh. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Yeah? What about him? Well, yeah. It's what I'm contractually obligated to do. What's this about? Yeah. Funny thing, Eugene's body ain't where it's supposed to be. Uh-oh. The night we were supposed to commend his body to the earth, I had his grave all dug up and ready, right? Mm -hmm. And so I thought, I'll just rest my eyes a bit. Right. When I woke up, his body was gone. Okay. Spirited away, mm -hmm. vanished. Wow. The footprints nearby suggested that Eugene was stolen by marauders. Or he rose from the dead. Hmm. Suit yourself. What's on your mind? You run into any trouble? Nope. Reliable work from a freelancer. Yep. That's gonna take some getting used to. Hmm. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Oh. Yeah. Uh, suppose you've earned it. <laughs> yeah. One good turn deserves another. Fucking great. There we go. Okay, now. Abernathy was sick? Yes. With the plague? Yes. That's disgusting. Totally. I shook hands with the guy. Oh my god. Better cut your hands off, dude. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Okay. Wow. Yeah? I mean, I lost him. We didn't lose him, we just gave him to him. Right? Yeah. We didn't lo lose anything. See, nothing's botched. See, it's a small grave matter. That's all done. Oh, you lose them because I gave them to him. Oh, okay, I see what's going on. All right, let's go do this one. Search for the collector's domicile. Cool. The domicilium. See if we can run around this place. Cool. I was quite surprised, like I said, when I first fired this up yesterday. I was like, wow, man. I'm like, I should have been playing this a while ago. But I, I have the Spacer's Choice Edition, which just came out last year. The original game came out a couple of years ago. It's like a newer version when it has a couple missions, side missions that you get to do. So, two DLCs. Yeah, Benny said last night that he did the main game and one DLC already. We've got one more DLC to do. I believe, you know, this is only one planet, too. I'm trying to get our ship done and keep doing all these cool little side quests and adventures and shit, which is nice. So. 
cube. I mean, always look around the outside of the buildings. That's for sure. Never can tell what you're gonna come up with here. First. Huh? Gonna fight! Oh shit. Calm down. Get that deep. Oh, fuck. Could have blown up that barrel right there, but that's cool. Shit was happening too quick. Better than Starfield, definitely better than No Man's Sky, and I like Mass Effect, but that's all it is. Take your time.
Yeah, so you can see Thomas. They're, you know, they had that camera mode. I'm, if you were on PC, there might so, be a way of doing it in third person, but on console, there's no way to get in there and do the files. But you really have to look around everywhere because I scavenged this armor right here off of this dude on the ground. Then I bought the other shit. I'm going to go and share a helmet with her. Yeah, so I scavenged this armor off of that dude when I first leave that town and you see when you have to go to the power towards the power station or, or the botanical gardens, you're gonna find like a marauder laying there. Might be this area right here. Um, with this other dude and you'll get an assault rifle. And then um Man, we just I thought we could have swore we just bought. Yeah, there's the armor I just bought. Ah, see, now I got the helmet to match. Nice. There you go, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. That would be rocking. She's already got the modified weapon, I believe. Yeah, see? He's already rocking that. And then she's got the melee hammer. Cool. You gotta save a lot, I as you know. Oh great, they say Earth is behind everything. Sure, they could be blaming the fucking Russians. Companion perks. Nice. Hell yeah. Okay, man, can we pick up the rounds? We don't need the rounds? Wow. You got that many bullets? Hold on.
like I saw him. Hmm. Because you can't pick up those. No problem. Man, let's go upstairs. What else we can do? Outside, and a box. Nice. Anything else? Anything hidden over here? This is way of sneaking into his place. You okay? I thought this guy had crap on him, dude. That we missed. Yeah. We were having a big shootout out with these guys, remember? Thought I missed a few of them. Nice. And then always look behind these places, because you never can tell. That's where we came in. Never can tell when there's shit behind them, so up like this, see? Think that or that dude. Mm-hmm. came in this way right here. Oh, can't come up there. Oh, he just came down off of there. Alright. Cool. Alright, so we got that all shit knocked out. I should save it one more time. I think I went in this ship the other day possible. Oh, maybe not. Might be another one. Thing the other day. Already. Yeah, we went in this one already. I remember. This is when we first started this whole area here. Changing her armor really helped a lot. Yep. Works for me. Huh. Alright, let's go. Yeah, she's doing really well. She isn't dying at all.
right, let me do a save real quick. We can handle this. I didn't mean to shoot my partner. You're like, but I will shoot your partner. Didn't mean to. The fucking excitement of the whole thing, man. Sorry, partner. Yeah, didn't, didn't mean to do that, man. Sorry. Where are we headed? Down that cave, man. That's on account of how I never met her. Ah. Huh. She was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. The game is awesome to play. The contract said and any free, kids she coming had out free, expected oh my God. or not I, I can't believe belonged it to her free. office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. Mm -hmm. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Sensible to me. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Hmm. All right. If you're watching them again, you can watch this in, in 2K. The fucking game is awesome. And it plays really well. Oh, God damn it. Cool. in the mines, I gotta look and see what the mines look like. Yeah, all that stuff you see on the upper left, where it says, you know, numpad 4, numpad 5, page down, X2, Parvati. I'm going to edit the I and I file and take all that out. I really don't need it. I don't even pay attention to it. You know what I mean? It's like, you get, you get cues when your health is low and all that shit anyways. Okay. Very good valley, the center icon on that. Oh, so still points to the right hole. Let me go do this real quick. Now we're 
gun. Oh, nice. Base health, threat generated, hmm. Jennifer said attack your enemies. What? That would do her health. I've got our journal. Yep, that's what we're doing right now. Oh, codex, sorry. Logs. Collector's letter. That would get down here, huh? Cool. Yeah, like I said, very enjoyable, Thomas. Quite surprised. I mean, it got a lot of reviews when it first came out a couple years ago, the original, but I didn't hear very much about this last year, so, you know, they gave it away for free on Epic, and I thought, oh, cool. I'll just get it, and, but man, had I known it was this much fun, I would have been playing it already, so I'm really glad that I decided to do this, and very, very addicting. And I'm playing it, the only, I'm not, the only one I'm not playing it on is, the, I'm playing it on hard, so the only level higher than this is when you die, you lose everything basically, so I would already have started over a shitload. So. Other than that, we're pretty much played it on the hardest level. Where are we headed? <coughs> we're going that way. Lady, ma'am, mammers. But nope, I'm I, I'm glad Thomas is playing it too because I know he, you know, enjoys these type of games. He's getting to play it. If you're on PlayStation Five, it's on there for free. So just ouch, let you guys know. I'm, I'm adjusting my seat here. Well, not my seat. Yeah, I am. This my seat. My ass. <laughs> so not my chair seat. My ass seat. Come on. I'm just all comfortable here. That's not too bad. That's what happens when you're well endowed, you know, and all that shit just gets in the way. <laughs> yeah, right, Dave. So, Thomas, what are you doing right now, man, in the game? Quiry Mons want to know, bro. Huh? Sir? Mr. T, you're being awful quiet. Joseph hasn't been around today. I know it's Easter, so I know you know a lot of people are going to go to church, and they're going to have dinner with the family and Easter egg hunts, and da-da-da-da-da-da-da. So I wasn't expecting this early. It is. It's only 
What time is it? Yeah, it's only 1.45 East Coast time, so. so. Like on the West Coast, where Aeromatic and OC Bodybuilder is 9 11 o'clock in the morning. So. Tom, if he's the other way, he's five hours ahead of me. Well, four hours, because we have daylight savings time. So technically it would be 12.43, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.43, almost 5.45 for Thomas. Just about evening for that young man. Wow, it's dark. We have a light, Thomas. Do you know if we have a light or not? I didn't notice if we had a headlight or not. A headlight, flashlight. Hmm. Yeah, no flashlight? Huh, that's interesting, huh? Because I don't want to make it too much wider. Oh, I'm telling you, the looting, isn't the looting fun, Thomas? Is that a buying shit? It's so easy to loot in this game, huh? I mean, shit, look at the weapons and shit I have. Look at my gear, look at my deed, what it looks like already. Doesn't my dude look all badass? The level 17 elite troop armor. I'm only at level 5 too. <laughs> that is like, dude, you look rocking already, huh? Got that, got our machine gun, got that plasma cutter thingy majigger. Whatever that thing is. This. Here you go. Check that out, man. Look at that badass blade. Thomas is like, he's like, God damn, this game is so cool looking. Yeah, there you go. Got our plasma blade. Be Ha. May the force be with you. Oh, yeah. You're rank three? Wow, you're hauling ass, bro. You just started this morning, too. I can't wait till we start tripping around to other places with our ship. Huh. That'd be so much fun. That's quite surprised, man, like I said. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> the Starfield, basically, I'm done with. I can just go back and finish up some shit in Starfield. We're pretty much done with it because, again, nobody's told me the whole reason why I got to set up, you know, outposts and have people farm and do all that shit. What has that got to do with anything? I'm a pirate. I go steal all these fucking ships. You know what I mean? The whole mining for minerals and all that crap, I already got millions of credits already. The last update, they were all excited about the number one thing, photo mode. Gosh, we have a new enhanced photo mode. 
So we still have a fucking vehicle to drive around on planets with and shit, but they got photo mode they're all excited about. So. No. And of course they said, oh God, they're still sold all these dedicated star field players. I'm like, oh, you mean all the fanboys? I'm that fucking player. Do you realize that game got the worst ratings on Steam for 2023 of any game? I mean, any game at that, at that came out in 2023, Starfield got the worst fucking ratings. But according to all these fucking magazines and articles, oh my god, everybody loves that game. And so, I'm like, nobody fucking plays it. Who in the fuck plays it? It's, there's no logical sense in the game. So, oh yeah, well you gotta play it. What? What? What the hell? What the fuck? Shit balls, I got to my head. I got my hands full. I'm occupied in smoky mode, man. Damn you, Gabe. All right. Those things just came out of nowhere, huh? Cool. Yeah, you see those things just came out of nowhere, Thomas. Kicked our asses, huh? I don't even know what they were. Some big creature things, man. It's all okay. It's all good, though. It's all good. I'm okay. I, I already saved it at this spot. <coughs> but that's a very fallout, a fallout feel to it, sort of when you're inside, not outside. But inside has that whole retro feel. But they definitely copied Starfield, you know, like, I mean, Starfield copied this game. You could see that. They ripped this game off on so many fucking things, it's not even funny. From the persuasion and the lying, and I was like, oh my god. Yeah, so. Nope. I lost money on that game. But it's all good. Um, excuse me. <clears throat> A little strong there on the meds. I'll survive though, I think. The, you know where the vending machines are? Like when you go places, like the power plant, all these places, Thomas Lee, you'll see those vending machines. That's where I got this level 17 armor out of a vending machine. Just let you know. See, I'm digging it because had I had the right weapon, I would have had that stupid plasma blade thing. I got that shock mod on this assault rifle. I think this is a rifle, yeah. I got the shock mod on this. Dude, that thing's like right there. Shit balls. 
I forgot to heal myself. Would have had all three of those dudes dead. See? Just forgot. I keep forgetting to heal. Like a dummy. And to use that that time slow down feature. A slow mo feature. some meat. Primal meat. Hell yeah. Meat time. Alright, let's save that. Alright, continue with our exciting adventure over here. Got our beef jerky. Yep. That jerky. Whoa. Yeah, it's these vending machines, bro. And you go over here to either weapons or gear. And you can see what they have. We don't have a lot of that. Uh, let's look at gear. We need to get her a... Oh, look at these helmets. See, we need to get her a better helmet. Oh, that's the armor. But that looks like a helmet to me. Oh, it is a helmet. Yeah, see, so I could get that helmet. Nice, and then give her my other helmet. Well, that'll work. Nice. And let's see what mods they have. Shock, we already have that. Uh, melee weapon attack speed. Uh, body armor, helmet armor. Oh yeah, let's get that. All right, do we can sell? Might have some shit tools we can sell. Oh my god, look, we can sell these. Definitely don't need all those. Holy shit balls! Plethora of these things. Huh? How come we got so many of these?
Go. Who the fuck? Who the, are you? Calm down, lady. I'm gonna have to buy some ammo too. All right, where's she at here? Helmets. Oh, first no, this goes me. Whoops. Oh, inventory. Here's mine. That's a 10. Where's that 17 I just bought? This one. Oh, hell fucking yeah. So we got 17 and 17 now. Cool. And then we'll go to her. Go to her since she's got 17 and that 4. Pick. All right, we'll put that one on her. Cool. And she's still rocking that. It doesn't have any mods on it, though. Can I mod hers? I have to mod another one, I think, so I can give it to her. Yeah, see that I modded, but yeah, I need to be able to mod one of those. Anyways, that'll work. Cool. Yeah, it looks really good, huh? Nighttime. Yeah. All right, so we got that part done. It is. Got something good. Huh. A little tingly noise there. up that whatever that is on the table right there up oh, there you go hold on all right did we clear this place out let's see if we can buy some ammo can i buy ammo
Don't they have other ammo? Where's my, my machine gun ammo? games that like takes forever to pick shit up. That yeah, was very, very quick. Alright. All right. Yeah, last time I came here I couldn't get in there. Very much skills like the Alright. Save it again real quick. Go see the bicker. It's a fine new day in Edgewater. Hell yeah, the cannery bro. hums, street lights and faces glow. Mm -hmm. I suppose this means the two of you were able to sort out the matter? Yep. The greater good can be difficult to determine. Sure. None of us can know the effects of our decision in a year, or what? ten, or a hundred. Take comfort in the fact that your choices are always, ultimately, in line with the grand plan. Cool. Grand plan. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. Sorry, it's bro. a law-forsaken joke is what it is. Mm. French. Mm. Ha! I was so high and Why mighty, preaching say? to the yokels about following the plan mm. while fighting it at every well, turn. Screwed, huh? Huh? There is little more important than such a precious, rare text. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I don't believe it. I had hoped this book held some of those I answers. Lying. I became so desperate, I even totally got myself lying. assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find mm -hmm. the damn thing. Okay. Well, you got All it. All the time and suffering cool. I've spent. Learn French. Shut up. It. You got robots. You don't have a robot translator? Yeah, that's right. You got a meaningful mission. Uh, yeah. Cosmic retribution. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Bokonu, the author, mm -hmm. had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I okay. thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher right. the plan. 
Oh. Unfortunately, he was also one of the, the founders plan? of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, has your mission work set up? No, we don't. Okay. Okay. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They uh -huh. believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came like more than a century black. after his death. Instead of brown, which is actually both, like a pizza. Mm. Yep, you got your meaningful life, man. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing mm. to a bunch of feeble minded wretches. Oh, well. Better Nothing than could be more dying. excruciating than discussing mm -hmm. the true nature yeah. of reality with people who have yeah, no interest right, to be on their mm -hmm. next Aether yep. Wave program. All right. But well, that's neither here nor there. Neither. What I need to do now is to find a translator, way. obviously. Uh -huh. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I can make myself of use to your crew. Uh, no. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Hmm. Next one. Uh, side quest. Nope, we're, we're going to do these, the two side quests. Belong to my own. Catch your medicine. Or, Grace doesn't know where Zoe might be. We can go find her. Let's go get Grace. Shelby. Whatever this lady's name is. Tell you the yellow brick road. You didn't believe me when I first started playing this game. <laughs> and it says follow that road. I was like, oh, you mean like follow the yellow brick road? Yeah, we're just gonna haul ass past shit. Other than like obvious you know, loot containers. Anything that blatantly sticks out will be real quick. Other than that, I don't want to get too sidetracked. But we won't get shit done. If that makes sense.
the hell? But the mines everywhere. Stepped on his own fucking mind, man. That was funny. That worked out really well. <laughs> I need to go inside, too. I think I already have her shit done already. Hey, what's up, Joseph? What's up? B -b -b Benny and the Jets. Century Saver. Yeah, we got that. Word, baby. We're being barred, man. Oh, 
Drug addiction. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I like that. In fast travel, we're, we're encumbered. Kind of alien <laughs> mice around here. Big unit jet reporting. I forgot about this game. I want to check it out. East Coast, nice. Slow mo vision and a health bomb. Yeah. Whacking and stacking. I'm telling you, bro. Lots of fun, huh? Lots of fun. If, yeah, if you're on PC, um,. Yeah, this is going to be free on the 4th. Epic is giving this away. This is a Spacer's Choice Edition. Versus the regular edition. Came out a couple years ago. Just to let you know. And see, I never fired it up because I thought it was just like the, the other one. So I was like, oh, no need for me to do this shit, right? And then um, I started to play it yesterday and I was like, fuck, this thing's so fucking cool, man. I'm like, I'm like, I need to fire this puppy up, man. Yeah. El baño. Look at you're all the way in the future, and they still got porcelain toilets, man. Seriously, it's not like all stainless steel. That's just so trippy. Huh. I mean, I would seriously... That's the little thing right there. Was... I would seriously think that they have... Uh, that they would have... Um, all stainless steel ship, but I don't know, to, you know. Oh, we just picked something up. What did we just pick up? Sawed off shotgun. Basically the same one we already have. 
tactical shotgun. Oh, that's the one we picked up. 24, 6, and knockdown. I don't know, that one's still better. That's the room we need to get in that room over there. How do we get in that fucking room? Hmm? Shut up. Yeah, how do we get in that room? This room. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the magic key all along. I forgot I got the key from that dude. We got the medicine for that dude. Rocking it. Got the meds. But now we have to decide to give them to him or give them to that lady, right? And that lady said, Oh, give him to me, don't give him to him. He's a hypochondriac. Fucking decisions in this game. I just want to get the fuck out this planet, man. Just like the drama planet. That's all I can tell you, man. Donovan, man. Fucking people, man. It just does not stop. Holy cow. Make your head spin. Oh, you better calm down there, young man. You better calm. You slow your roll there, Thomas. You falling in love. But it's not allowed there, young man. At all. You better stop that right now. You hear me? Huh? Don't be laughing. God, man. Create a monster, man. It's all Benny's fault. Benny's the one who told you to play this thing, not me. I'd never contribute to your delinquency like that. It's all his fault. I don't blame anybody. Yes, sir. Gonna blame Mr. B. Oh, is that what that little thing? Oh, maybe there's another one over here that was glowing. Huh. Yep, all his fault. Not mine. Neat, 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 neat. Alright, let's rock it, sister. Sister, sister. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, it's her, her. Yeah, huh? Her. Okay, this one right here. Better calm your jets there, young Mr. T. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> oh no man he's young he's 30 years old bro you just let Thomas enjoy himself uh oh okay we got some hey what happened to that lady that was guarding over here remember hopefully she's not dead man she's pretty cool I don't see her I don't see her body anywhere so one can only assume that she's still alive. Huh. No 
one. That's a lamp post, dude. Calm down there, so. Here, put your put your weapon away, man. But was that like a fucking chicken? That's a coffin. is this what the fucking shit balls oh hold on uh, got Zoe's journal remember we're looking for that Zoe lady there's something else there for us to examine okay, look at that one Ah, oh, hold on. Mm. There we go. Let's do it too. Cool. Alright, so we got this one done. Now, let's go over here, see what's happening over here, real quick. Why right here, chick? Yeah, chicken. See, the fucking chicken, space chicken. That was talk. Talk to the chicken. Wait. The fuck's it supposed to say? Not. What the hell? Is this like a trick? Right. I know I'm smoking meds and stuff, but I swear, man. It's tell me. Tell me. I'm not going for this hokey doke. I have to go play this game on somebody else. I'm talking to chickens. Oh shit! Now what's going on over here, man? He's got some cultist shit going on. What happened? Yeah. Sprat fell into a transformer again? Uh, maybe. Adelaide's okay. One of us want to go see what happened? Yeah, one one of you guys go see. I know. I'm trying to think. Okay. I don't want to disturb you. What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again. Wow, you're repeating yourself, lady. All right, let's go. Back. okay. To talk to dude over here, this guy. One Got of us my sights on. Go see what happened. But, oh, 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 what the fuck, man? I know, get, I'm get trying to out. think. Don't set yourself on fire. Something I can help you with? Chicken. Graphic. Okay, I am told one of your number. You mean Zoe? Yes. Yeah, we were pretty close. All right. Not like her to go loping off. Good space name, huh? Zoe. Okay. Let's see. Fat my day she disappeared, tell me more about Zoe. Was she acting strange? Uh, there was something else. Hmm, hold on. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Mm -hmm. Masked marketeer. Mm -hmm. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry mm -hmm. and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined what up for What the did that guy just say? You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Dude, I'm in a spacesuit. Do I look like a corporate fix? Am I playing Cyberpunk 2077 or what? Do I look like a corpo punk? Well, this guy's like on... What type of drugs are you taking, bro?
All right. Let, let's. Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. Right, I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Cornflakes? What cereals? What's this cereal? I'm like, I'm totally like lost. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Cocoa Puffs? Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. Fruit she Loops? called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Wheaties? Special K? She's a lady, maybe she's trying to lose weight. Special K? Oh man, dearest. Like. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, right. but she was gone the next day. Oh my god. No. Okay. Hey, I got time. <laughs> okay, got one more question about Zoe. I'll help if I can. Hey, I got time. Nothing. With the power gone, we've got to conserve our supplies. How can we look like Val Kilner? You notice that? Huh? I think it looks like Val Kilner. <sighs> so that got us nowhere talking to this dude. We'll look in our journal. Something's going on over here. Hmm. General entries. She secretly planning to run away and join the Marauders. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, we already did that. Search a clue. All right. Thanks, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. Blow your roll. Oh, that's right. I think it's locked down. No power. We already looted all these places before, so I don't think it's that type of game you can loot it again. Barbecue? Oh man, barbecued chicken. Can't wait till this summer, man, so I can barbecue. <sighs> so nice. Man, I hope are we have to go mess with these marauders over here. I have a feeling I want to mess with my eyes. Crap on it. Maybe we can just sneak by him, huh? It's like a big. Let's see if we can go this way. I don't know, man. That's like. I uh, know, because then those crazy monster things are down there, maybe? Yeah. Oh, wait a second. Can somebody F those things up? In no, fact, they're moving. Unless they're sleeping. They're dead to me. What's up, good man? How you doing today, bro? Hope you 
you're having a great Easter. Whatever you may be doing. I think knowing you, you and the missus probably went to church today. Some, some people do, some people don't. That's why I said good morning both ways, because I didn't know which way, you know. I didn't know what people do, so. Go to church and all that stuff. I hope you're having a great day. Some people do follow. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Oh, nice. Got another energy shot. Yeah, I figured you would. crap out of that place. Did you play this version? The Spacer's Choice Edition? Of this game? Saved it for opening up that fucking door, huh? Alright, so whenever we open up that door, it's gonna be like Shit City. So let's not open up that door, right? Yeah, for some reason. Let's go this way. See the mines everywhere. I'm encumbered. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Oh my god, look how much shit I have. Need to queue. Oh, grenade launcher. Oh no, I'm going to keep that. Matter of fact, let me switch over right now because I can, like, oh, take this. Oh, hell fucking yeah. Now we're talking. Am I still encumbered? <coughs> Excuse me. Am I a hoarder? No, this is just the shit I'm picking up as I'm running along. Oh, this one, this one's over the top, Vinny. Like I said, this one's like brand new. Now, I'm not trying to hoard, bro. I'm just picking this shit up as I go along. Oh, that's better than a tactical other shotgun I have. You know, I modified that one. I haven't mod this one yet.
Yeah, I'm not trying to hoard, man. It's just happening. You know what I mean? Shit's, shit is just happening. I don't know what the mines look like now. Some fucking serious ass firefight. <laughs> That's all I can say. Holy Kingawi. Oh yeah. Thank God I upgraded my um LMG, huh? Oh no, these are the bad guys, Top Gun map. I'm surprised you haven't played this game, man. Like I said, this is the, um, it's Outer Worlds, but it's the Spacer's Choice Edition that came out just last year. Because you're so good about playing all this shit, I figured you would have played this already. This is like a new version they have. All right, here's Zoe right here, man. Wow, you crossed them all off. Oh, Looks Thomas sort of Lee. Running down a Maybe list. we could have Zoe Teach hang out ways. with us, huh? Thomas is like, fuck, Zoe's even better looking. Come on, OC. Bodybuilders, happy birthday. <laughs> you are so funny. Yes, it is my birthday. I was resurrected today, 2,000 years ago. Thanks. That's the fucking funniest fucking joke. I, I can't wait to fucking tell people this. Yeah. 
Somebody showed up on my stream on Easter and wished me happy birthday. Sarge is arisen from the grave. Huh. You are so funny, bro. You were out super late last night in a row. Two night. Oh, nice, man. Spending time with the family. Nice. Do you guys have like a traditional meal? Like my parents were all into ham. For some reason, my dad liked ham on Easter. Okay, you're Zoe. Okay. Uh, trust me, Zoe. People are looking what? for you. You mean this Adelaide's game is exciting, by the way, everyone. And it'll nobodies. be free. I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Flattery will get you everywhere. Um, again, everyone that's on PC, this will be free on April 4th on the Epic Game Launcher. If you don't have an account, just go to epic.com. If you're on PlayStation 5, though, it's also free in the library because Thomas Sleep started playing it this morning and he's given it two thumbs up. I started playing it yesterday and I'm very impressed. And I also own Starfield and I also own No Man's Sky and I also have Mass Effects and I also have um, Fallout series. So it's sort of a combination, you know, of a lot of those. You can see where Starfield was ripping this game off, like, totally. But this is their Spacer's Choice Edition that came out last year. Yep, Honey Bake Ham. I know. Isn't that weird? How, I have to Google that, why people like ham. You have this game somewhere? It's a bit like Fallout. Well, it is a Bethesda title, originally. It's developed by another company, though. Much better than Starfield, though. Like, right off the bat, you feel very engaged. Um, and you get to a lot of shit. I mean, we're still on this one planet, and we're doing all the side stuff. All right, so let's continue real quick, I would see. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. Mm, you should go back. So we have the whole persuasion. They have, you know, the persuade, the intimidate, the lie. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Um, yeah. Wait, you're telling me he's got a copy of the Mass Marketeer? Yep. Why didn't you say so? I'll take my stuff. <laughs> That's and all it back, took. I suppose. Wow. Grace is going to be glaring. You've got all the me. Seinfeld Don't episodes to for you. To. Xbox Game Pass? It. I don't think it is. You'll have to look it up. It, oh, wait, it might be. Yes, I believe it might be. Okay, hold on. Clarify. I'm great at clarifying. It might be on Game Pass. Okay, are you a prisoner? Yeah, because I can't figure out what she's doing here. Yeah. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? How? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. Mom. Yeah, how'd you pull that off, lady? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. You're a drug dealer. Uh, yeah, why did you leave the camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling mm. sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them. Seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. 
Oh, you mean around these guys? Yeah. The Marauders the would not me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, it must be my natural charisma. Well, the ex-Marauders, you mean, like... Okay, so we already asked her all this. There was something else. What? I've got all the time in Halcyon. Oh, that's it, man. Why is something flashing on my screen? Huh? Oh, hold on. Oh, we got to return to Grace. All right, go. Cool. No problem. That's it. Okay. Sorry about killing all your Marauder dudes that you sold drugs to. Yeah, we were waiting there already. Cool. Oh, God damn it! I forgot about fucking mines. All right, so there we go. Got this. We got one more side quest that we're going to do today. One time. Yeah, it could be on Game Pass already, Top Gun Map. I'm not quite sure. To be honest. Alright, let's go tell Grace good news. I'm gonna do one, one more side quest we're gonna do. But it plays really well. Like as soon as you crash, you know what I mean, like you know, like right from the start you're very engaged. The tutorial is very quick, like how to crouch, how to jump, you know, how to shoot. <laughs> Had a scavenge, so yeah, it's all pretty straightforward. One of us want to go see what happened? Huh? All Marauders right. can't see us in the dark. Wild canids, on the other hand. All right, talk to Zoe. She's coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. Yep, totally. What happened, anyway? Yeah, something about wanting to be an outlaw. You pretty much did my job for me. We'll Least leave it I at that. Least I can do is pay you for your trouble. Hell yeah. Let me know if I can do something for you. All right. That will be that one. Nice. Okay, so we got that quest completed. Well, what do we got going on over here? Oh, we don't need the workbench right now, but... But it'll... What does... Oh, cool. That's the thing about growing old. What? Your eyes start to fail. Huh? Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped huh? you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. Huh? What? What? Nope. This is what? all you're doing. What? Cutting off my power, killing hmm? off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will Ca spoil and my down. flock will starve. Calm I'm going to ask you this in private. Away from the eyes Calm of my flock, so they do not see me down. lose my temper. Oh my God! Tell me, why did you do it? Mm. Yeah, Reed needs his people back. This is not personal. Mm, which one we want to go with? The don't. Yeah, we'll do this one. You want my flock wasting their lives in that cabin? Flock? Fine. Flock? She's a fucking Go crazy lady. Her. Hear her. Flock. Go talk They're to not Grace your flock, lady. And Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over. Okay. And the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. It's over. This it's is over. now your responsibility. It's over. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will over. never return to Edgewater. I would rather die mm. among my flowers than leave under his management. What's this story about? Well, it starts out where you're in a pod with about 100,000 other people, Top Gun map, in outer space. And then some people start attacking it, and then she puts you in one of these other pods to send you down to the planet, right, to get some help. 
for this ship, the Hope, correct? And some reason you go down there and the dude that you're supposed to meet, um, you land on top of him, like Dorothy with the house, <laughs> the Wicked Witch of the East. So he gets effed up, so you have to take his place. And then all this shit starts. And you're just trying to get this power regulator, right, that you need, right? That's all you need, this power re regulator. To get your ship going, right? Which is actually the dead dude ship that you dropped your, 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 what do they call it? The, um, oh my God. Cryogenic sleep pod, right? So now you're on the planet and you're going through all this shit with all these people. See, it's this here. I'll show you, man. Hold on. Well, anyways, well, let's go. I'm not, hold on. How do I get a deal? I don't want to be, yeah. Come back to Edgewater. Yeah. My son worked in that cannery. Uh-oh. Let me guess. Coming, he, he fell into the fucking the tuna sink. machine and he got we made a tuna. Of medicine locked uh -huh. away. But tuna. Reed refused to made him into tuna. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Mm -mm. So Said we haven't even got off the planet him. yet to go elsewhere. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. Okay. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Wow. Okay. Yeah, come on, man. As long as Reed is still in Edgewater, I will not return. Oh, Those God, are lady. my terms. Oh, man. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? I'm gonna sow You'll some chaos! Or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Right, so we would have to convince him. No, he'll need some help. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Really? Start a new garden right in the cannery. Really? Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. No way. Tell them how I've made the veil bloom again. Baths on Friday night? The soil has whispered its really? secrets to me. It's and the I vittles on Saturday? I breathe life back into the earth. Really? The secret is human <laughs> corpses. What? Oh, I've wait the fuck up, up man! For years. Oh, hell, this is some Soylent worker. Green shit going on Don't now, man. Much to me. Yeah, the this is Soylent Green and Soylent Brown. Carlton Epson. Yep, people starving. Yep, they had these, like, freeze-dried bars that everyone's eating, remember? Carlton Epson, like, put himself in a truck to sneak it in the factory. Found out that's what they were doing, chopping people up, making them into fucking protein bars. Wow. See, she's been grinding them up, using them in her fertilizer. This is just like Division 2, right? Remember going to the underground in Division 2 and everywhere? You know, in the Black Tusk, everybody, they got all the bodies of mushrooms. They're growing mushrooms out of all the bodies. You play Division 2. The step down, well, that's uh, when you run out of corpses. <laughs> yeah. Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty. Enough for a generation's yeah. worth of crops. Okay. Well, okay. So, that's it. Wait a second. Let's talk to her again. Oh. All right. So, there you go, folks. Wow. What a perdicky, dicky, dicky minty we are in. Can we get the power regulator or what? Are we allowed to take it or just skedaddle? <laughs> like, what the fuck? i got so many choices now. See, it says go over here and talk to these people, convince them to leave, go tell this other dude to leave. That's optional. God. Right, but, that's the main story. We want to do this side quest. So you have to click on it, double click. There you go. All right. So we're going to do this one first. All right. Just to let you know. That's an oboe, by the way, in case you're wondering what that instrument that you're hearing. 
hobo. They're melonic. Run, Forrest, run! I think that's where we kill all the Marauder dudes, right? That's where we kill all these people here. Oh yeah, I think we already finished. Yep. All right, cool. <laughs> it's a bratwurst to get the whole pig there. Yeah, we would have been here. I just must have missed those two little loot boxes. And remember, this is where we fucked all those dudes up. We had a big firefight and all that shit. Fuck. That grenade launcher didn't work. Owie. Alright, fine. But it gotta be in here somewhere. this door yeah, I wish the doors would just open I don't like this whole cutscene thingy bullshit All right, so they must be in that building over here right, can we go around This one done. I'm gonna get in a shit match with those guys right now. Other things we're doing. Yeah, there's a lot of bodies though. She's right about that. Right. Yeah, I was quite surprised. Like I said, I just started playing it yesterday and I was like, wow. Lots of fun. <laughs> Does she eat humans also? I don't know, Top Gun. It's pretty funny, huh? But yeah, it definitely has a Starfield vibe, man. But plays be better. better rashes. Plays much better than Starfield. Somebody's been running around town raving about a colony ship. Plague must have gone into their brain matter. Um, you get the medicine. Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. Okay. How much it costs to feed, clothe, mm -hmm. shelter, bury, mm -hmm. and replace your average human worker. Right. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Thanks. I'll see to it that this medicine gets to the people who need it. Here, something for your trouble. Nothing personal, but... I hope we never do business together again. Wow. Don't want to make a habit of consorting with smuggler types. Wow. Um. Yeah. You do have some cheek on you. Lucky for you, I kept a little contingency fee in case you tried to negotiate with me. Oh, cool. All right, so we gave her that. 
somebody deserving. Silas on account of him being out in the cold, Amelia seeing how she's around people all the time, anybody in oh, the so sick room. Oh, so gonna get it anyways. Good, all right. Nope, that's fine. I'm gonna answer level six too. That's cool. So Silas is gonna get his shit anyways. Man, that's great, man. See, that worked out fine. I knew it would. I could have swore I upgraded this already, huh? Guess I didn't. I would definitely want to do tech. Or this stealth. And then that music sounds like from American Truck Simulator, which is hilarious. Persuade, and you have to apply, or else it doesn't work. Okay, perk, got another perk. Uh, mm, 25% more. Watch speed, no, 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 sprint speed, no. Durability. Oh yes, increase our weapon magazine size. Cool. All right, there we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. We got one that's going on over here. It's a seventy-three fifty. Who the fuck is up there? Oh, well, must be the boss dude. Huh? Hold on. Let's see what the hell is going on here. Oh yes, we've done all these. We haven't botched anything at all. We got one, two, three, four, five of them done. So we come we got that and stranger restraining land. Redirect the power rate. You divert the power from the botanical garden's edge of water. The botanical garden now is about power. You should be able to salvage your power regulator. Right. That's one of what I just was. And then we'll come back and do this. Let's go talk to this dude. That elevator music too. Yeah, we can get this guy out of the picture, then we just gotta go back and get our shitzers. This is a fine day, friend. Yep. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. Yep, well, we need you to leave I trust that. Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, no. when can I expect them back at their posts? Once we get rid of you. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am right. a steward of this play. place, and this is my watch post. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Yeah, Thomas, doesn't it? I expect you wouldn't understand. You don't see the town as I do. When I stand at my window and look out over my town, mm -hmm. here's what I see. What? I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. Right. I see a family. Okay. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. Mm -hmm. mm. 
I'm trying to remember 25 years, 26. When you get to my age, the years just rush by. You stop counting altogether. I remember looking question. out this window and seeing the veils spread out from horizon to horizon. We were a sprawling town. We were booming. Mm. Times change. People change. But the veil will always be here. Mm. Spacer's mm. choice will mm. always be here. Our work won't ever end. I take comfort in that. Really? This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, friend. Mm -hmm. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Go ahead. What about the pl Ah, here we go. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up. Yeah, but hold on. That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. That Disease is blue. always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting oh, to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and okay. increasingly frequent. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't ah, save got him everyone. Now. Here we go. So I have to choose. Adeline has it. Adelaide's son was barely competent. I treat him with our medical rations, and it looks like I'm playing favorites. Now, I will not pretend to understand the suffering Adelaide must have felt on account of losing her child, but she is not the only one to have felt such suffering. I wish she had stayed with us. Adelaide left us when we needed her most. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh... Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a cysty pig without tumors, borderline inedible. Hmm. Word up to me, friend. I'd stack our larders with Saltuna galore. No other brand of Saltuna adds as much vim or vigor. Oh my by God! Tumors. It's like Starkist but, brand. And this huh? is something we must keep between the two of us. Okay. Saltuna is hard to Funny, come by. Huh? What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world. Okay. You mean you don't know? No. Why, Monarch, of course. Oh. Spacer's Choice ran a mighty fishing enterprise on that world. Oh. As it so turns out, Saltuna do not take as readily to the waters of Terra II. Mm. Scrawnier than their monarch cousins. Forces us to pack our cans with additives, you see. Mm. Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palates. Soil and green. Go ahead. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. How am I going to get rid I'm of about this as dude. diplomatic as a bristling oh, cane. I just hope Adelaide and her folk will see their way past my flaws and return to town. Mm. I must. The burden of leadership is responsibility. If mm -hmm. my workers walked out on Edgewater, then I have failed them. Mm -hmm. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion, 
we have lost even more to plague. Hmm. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Go ahead. That you are not one of us may work to your advantage. Adelaide and her folk loathe the people of Edgewater, you see. I admit the fault was mine. I'm about as diplomatic as a bristling canid. I just hope Adelaide and her folk well, will see their way past Shoot my guy or what? and return to town. Nature is uglier. There is safety here. Safety and Pretty purpose. Pretty tricky trying to figure out this But one. not all of us see that. And I cannot force that vision upon them. Yes, we have lost good workers to desertion. Mm -hmm. We have lost even more to plague. Mm -hmm. But it is why we must square our shoulders and carry on. Can we not? Talking about unpleasant things Crap. always gets my bile up. Where am I gonna get rid of this guy? Ah, here we go. Then we are at an impasse. Stewardship over this town has been entrusted to me by Spacer's choice. That's to leave the conversation and come back. Perfect. I have made my share of mistakes, but I have done, done my best for already. this town. I am a Spacer's choice man. My father was a Spacer's choice man. Mm -hmm. Edgewater may not look like much to some buttoned up freelancer. But it is my home. Mm -hmm. I don't believe you. Nope, Plague is a reality of life. Nope. Best treatment is a good medicine, work ethic. The very notion is just grotesque. A raw vegetable? Why don't you just ask me to go chew the bark off of a tree? Stop going mad. This is so we much are better, bro. Saltuna, you go to all we these different Saltuna planets here, with aliens and, and towns and interact. And this is so much better, bro. I don't understand. So you say Adelaide's much growing better, food. man. But that should not be possible. The soil's gone sour. Company said as much. Our own botanist I couldn't grow decent crops for this, us. Man. So the company got rid of them and shut down the greenhouse. Five hours, man. You'll excuse me for being skeptical. How exactly is Adelaide growing crops in barren soil? And when you say special fertilizer, you mean what exactly? Uh... What a remarkably efficient solution. Recycling Spacer's Choice property long after its date of expiration. I was wondering about those missing bodies in Silas's cemetery. Okay. So Adelaide wants me gone. Trade my life for the life of the town. You understand what she's doing. If I leave town, I am as good as dead. If I stay, Edgewater will die of attrition. Adelaide has discovered some secret cure for the plague, and she is holding my town ransom. If Adelaide's found a way to feed her people and cure the plague, 
And she deserves this office more than I do. Ah, oh, nice. I won't stand in her way. My life here is ended. Holy shit, that took a, a lot to, to convince this guy. Wow. I'm sure Adelaide nice. will be glad to see the back of me. Nice, man. A couple months ago, I might have put in for a transfer. Nice. It's a big colony. Spacer's Choice has other towns. Now, I couldn't show my face in any of them. This just came out, Top Gun Map. This is not the original Outer World. This is Outer World Spacer's Choice Edition. It's got the main game and it's got two DLCs also. No such thing as an honorable resignation. Suppose yeah. I could find a place outside the I walls. I think he played this. Or put in for early retirement. I think he would have noted modus. I don't know. I could see myself lasting a week. <laughs> I have always tried to do right by my town. It has never been easy. Look at how long it took me to convince this guy. Okay. That was crazy, man. Now we can get back to her, we can get that fucking power thing, then we can go to our ship, we can do what Thomas is doing. So you don't have to do all these side missions and shit, Top Gun. You could have just gone, got this shit, and left. You know, there's all this. This is why I'm leveling up, and I have really good armor. I'm only at level 6, man, and I'm already, like, kicking ass with my armor and all that shit. My armor's... What the hell? What the hell happened to my level 17 that I had? Yeah, what the fuck happened to my level 17 and when I just got my ass kicked? Yeah. Why does it say armor level 1? Did I fuck up and give her my better armor? I might have fucked up and gave her my better armor. I just need to go to a vending machine or a store and buy, uh, buy armor. Where's that stupid trader do that? Not a big deal. I was wondering what the fuck happened. I must have accidentally got rid of my armor. Huh. This is where the magic happens. Well, science. But it still happens. I need a vending. I need a vending machine. Hey, that's. I mean, if you need it, it's okay. Mm, calm down, lady. Yeah, let's find a vending machine or a store over here. Is that trading post, dude? Be needing nothing but salt too. It's a canteen, huh? If you're right falling here. sick, I don't want you near me. No word. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, hmm. got my eye on you, girl. Shut up. Ask her if you care. I'm running a business here. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. You must have broke the machine. Music to my ears. Where the fuck is my level 17 shit, man?
says elite troop. So how is it? Why is it a one? Oh, there you go. It needs to be repaired. That's what happened. Now I see. Okay. Nice. All right. So I'm, I'm getting the hang of this shit, folks. shit you pick up off of people. It's back up to 17 again. All right, cool. I'm following now, man. I'm, I'm seeing where this, you know, what's, what's up. Yeah, weapons are all back up to snuff. Good. All right. All right, good. All right, good, 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 good. good. All right, cool. Whew. Like I said, I think it's fine, man. You know me, bro. If I'm playing it, it's got to be good. It's going to get the power reg. The power regulator. Yep, and then I can just talk to her and I'll be all over. I hear reeds leaving town. Nice. Yeah, because she doesn't need it because she's going to come back to town. And that's what I need to get my ship going. Oops, sorry, sorry. But it definitely plays better than Starfield. Starfield's like, wow, what a ripoff for a hundred bucks, man. I mean, I'm basically done with the game. You know, it's like, I had to start cheesing it so it would take me a little bit longer to do shit. But, and then to actually play the whole game, you gotta play it ten times, man, to get to unlock the whole secret of the game. Unless you want me to tell you right now. But that's, you know what I mean? Like, you literally have to play the game ten times. I'm like, okay. Like, you couldn't just do it once and then have, like, all these unlocks so we could learn what the fuck's going on. Nope. No. We thought it'd be great to make people play it ten times because you don't have any other fucking games that you want to play in the real world. Except for this one. So that was a major flaw. There's no way to get around planets. You know what I mean? Except for, for the most part, like running. Right? They still don't have a vehicle. The last update they touted was so great because they had photo mode. I was like, who gives a fuck if you guys got photo fucking mode, man? And why do you need to have a... Why do you need to make any type of base or 
you know, okay. settlement or camp or anything for mining. What do you need that for? I got millions of fucking credits. I can steal ships. I mean, so like, what's the whole purpose? What happened? Sprite There's 1,685 the planets there. How many of you explored out of 1,685? Because I've done like 300 and so far, I have anything that's that great. I mean, like I said, it's okay, but, you know, it's very lacking, bro. So, you know, I have to take that back to my ship, but we're going to do this one first. This is what a Thomas, see, that's why Thomas didn't do all the shit that I'm doing. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, like, complete the whole planet before I leave the planet type shit. But it's, it's much the better than Starfield. And better than No Man's Sky. But again, with Starfield, you have all these people, but what's the whole purpose? I can kill anybody on in there in the game. I don't need any more ships. I got all these ships, so... It's sort of like GTA V Online, where you own all the properties, you own all the fucking apartments, you got garages, you got a shitload of cars, you got, you know... <laughs> Millions and millions of dollars, so it will, you know, it's hard to do anything in the game other than the awards and achievements. I do that. Yep. These gonna leave. I never thought I'd see the day so, that rain tops this game is quite a surprise because right off the bat Suppose you get engaged on this planet. Point. Now, you didn't have to do any of this. You could do what Thomas is doing. You could have come, got this power regulator, got back to your to ship, put it in your in ship and taken off. But I wanted to do all the side quests and shit. That makes You're sense. Vexing to to me, see how you long know? it took, and it takes. Injuring us with it's one about hand, six hours to do this planet. Here, I'm giving you something to leave that us be. That makes sense, bro. It's a ransom. You understand? Not a reward. Uh, better. I have it's missing. You're telling me you did all this just to put me in charge of Edgewater? So it's like pretty good, Stranger, bro. Stranger, you are some kind of twisted. I might turn that old cannery into a garden. Got ourselves a whole cemetery bursting with bodies. I need some time to gather my personals. Long walk back to Edgewater. Got a considerable burden to carry. Okay, and that's it. Nice. All right, so... Now we gotta just go back to our ship. See, this is what I did here. You go to your journal, Top Gun. So I did all these. These are all the ones on the planet. Um, Thomas Lee didn't do all these. And if you fuck one of them up, they come out in the botched ones. See, now I can go back. I can get on my ship and I can take off. But you don't have to do any of these. You could just do that main one. Right? And then loot and then take off. Does that make sense? But Starfield doesn't have any aliens. This actually has alien people. You're going to go to different cities and towns and shit with alien people that interact with aliens and, you know what I mean? That's like, there's no aliens in Starfield. There's only humans, which is ridiculous. But anyways, that's where we're at. That's why... So we're only on one planet. We're not even, like, going anywhere yet. That's what Thomas did. See, he took I off. I wanted to complete the whole freaking planet before I left.
Hold on. I mean, Starfield is a lot of fun, Top Gun. Don't get me wrong. The whole problem is this whole, they want you to repeat it all those times, which literally did not make any sense because it didn't have to do it that way, right? Um, there's so many planets, 1,685 planets, but yet... It's hard to get around to explore them, right? I mean, yeah, you can scan them. That's the whole purpose is you can scan them. But still, you got to land and check shit out. And, you know, so they do they sort of make it a little difficult. Oh, shit. You know, for us to be able to do shit. So that's the part that I get a little upset about. Here they come! Oh, God damn it. I mean, it's like I said, it's a, it's got a lot of positives, but for a game that was in development that long, look at Mass Effect. Mass Effect, you can drive your vehicle all over the planets, right? You know, you can interact, you can do, I mean, there's so much shit going on in that game. And look at how old those games are, right? You know, comparatively. So, like I said, it's, it's just very disappointed in Microsoft, you know, for basically charging what they did for so little. And they and now they've had three updates and they still haven't given us any way to drive around. Yeah, see, you really enjoyed the spaceship building, which was cool. You know what I mean? That was great. You know, but for a lot of us that did the whole pirate thing, I could just go out and steal all the fucking ships I wanted. You know, got to the point where it wasn't a big deal for me to attack them and fuck them up and then board them and take control of the ship. You know, or I found ones that were... Already on planets that I landed on, and I stole those, and so that was the whole, you know, for me. And I did everything. I basically did the, you know, I did all the factions. So I'm done with everything. I've, I've got some, a little BS side crap to do still, but for the most part, I'm done with everything. You know, so I'm just, you know, working on the lodge shit right now. And I haven't even married Sarah. You know, she keeps bugging me to go to the fucking waterfall and talk to her. And I haven't done that. But I've done everything else. That's why I thought, see, now we're going to take off in this ship, bro. This is your ship you get to explore the fucking galaxy and shit with. Because the, the dude you land, he, he, the guy who owned this ship that you were supposed to meet... You landed your your pod, your cryogenic pod. You landed on top of him and killed him. So when you came here, his AI said you have to take his place. And then you have to go get a power cell so we can take off. So this is, like I said, Thomas already did all this shit. He's, he's... Is this your ship? Oh, my star. She is just so handsome. 
but you can recruit all these people. I recruited oh, her, gosh. and I kind of recruited the chaplain, well, but like I didn't want the chaplain. When I was in Edgewater, I yeah, so you're going to be able to recruit ship, people, but trust me, you have all these planets, but they actually have alien civilizations on them. I'm the only mechanic Edgewater's got, you know, but there's a lot of shit going on. In every time I think of going back, Brad, I you're going to watch me. I'll be playing this. I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish up Dead Island 2 because I almost have everything done 100%. Yeah, see? Oh, it's kind of you to say that. And you're right. I wasn't happy. I well, this is like a Mass Effect, no, Starfield, No Man's I Sky. I could tend to your engine. I know my G valves from my catalyzers, and I can one. keep your ship singing. Got and if you ever need everywhere. a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? That's why I had her as an engineer. Yes! I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, mister. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! I got a captain. <laughs> All right. Alright, so here's our ship. Now we get to go put our thing in here, our power thing. Here's our Captain, computer. I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your... Well, do you know how to install a power regulator? Um... Outstanding, Captain. Your aptitude for engineering will prove invaluable in the event of another catastrophic engine failure. I have my engineer with me. Behind you. I'm going to cheat. Across the cargo bay, up All the right. ladders. All right. Cool. All right, let's go put our fucking power cell in here, man. Big shit. Our workbench. Okay. All right. What can I do for you, Captain? I've installed the power right here. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. Cool. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This nice. should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Okay. Yeah, what do we need to take care of? So we did everything. See, if you hadn't done any of the side missions, you could do those, but... That's it, man. from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Ship for a former captain horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. With Experiencing hand, any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Yeah, Chip is great. 
What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Uh. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The mm -hmm. chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. Uh -oh. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. Nice. They can help us set things right. You That's need to get with a hundred thousand people. I have contacts there. They'll help me help us find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Yep. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs okay. a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Mm -hmm. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Mm -hmm. Cascadia what? is utterly seething with dangerous, oh. highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. Okay, okay, dude, I understand. You'd have to be I a know. lunatic to land in Cascadia, yeah, and I'm fine. reasonably certain I tested oh, your brain for incipient that. signs of insanity. Well, I'm no Trust incipient, me, insane dude Kelly. here, man. No insane in the membrane. Okay. All right. Right. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Right. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Her. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. Ah, cool. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, right. so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys called Kelly. Fine. I'll go work with Excellent. Gladys. I'll send her a wireless. Oh, Let her know crap. you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design, cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. All right. Marvelous device, I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. Ah, see? It has Don't have that first generation field. technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see mm. it in use at last. Cool. All right. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity mm -hmm. cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Right. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Oh. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Oh. Best used in moderation. When oh. you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. All right. Go. Cool. Yeah, why do a I need one? change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy cereal? What inattentive and brainless know. guard would yeah, be fooled duh. by such a shabby That's disguise? That's what we do in Starfield. We just change our clothes. The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. Ah. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Wow, a breath mint, too. I'm not gonna, yeah. Science, that's how. Okay, fine. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. Yes, sir. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll nope. try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. Okay. But it's a lie. It's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. All right. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Well, let me go get this thing from the captain. Alright, so where's the captain's thing now? Remember they said go get something from the captain's quarters? Where's 
my quarter go. It's probably not that way. It don't look like a captain's quarters to me. Ah, maybe up here. Ooh, what do we got here? The holographic shower projects say disguise on you and your companions that gives you access to the terror prior to the correct ID cartridge. Ah. Okay, we got the shroud. We're shrouding. It's just hot arms. Logs, 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 logs. Got more skill points. Nice. Um, I right, go E. Apply. Weapons from the void, see? Logs found in the captain's terminal on the unreliable mission, finding a powerful weapon, perhaps the hollow colony containers, other weapons which, like ones, push the boundaries of what science can achieve. We do a flaw to seek out these devices, see? So that's what we're gonna do. Acquire the science weapons on Groundbreaker, acquire Phoenix's science weapons, see? So instead of doing the main one, we're gonna do this one first. That's how it works. That's how it works, kids. <laughs> right. But let's go check out the rest of the ship. This is Sam, must be my robot. Such a good ease in here, huh? I'll come back and get that crap later. Another cabin. Another cabin. Another cabin. Main dining area. All sorts of stuff here. Another crap. Big ship. Bathroom. We've got the engine area, I think. Because this is where I'm going to stop for the day. I'm going to go over here though. Take off. A. Oh, see, here you go, bro. Look at this. See? That's the planet that we are on. See? Nice, huh? Oh, see, we got to go there. See, these are all different places that we can go that are unlocked. Groundbreaker, that's where we want to go to get the, um, oh, cool. Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. There you go, okay. Yeah, I like this much better. 
much, much, much better, everyone. So of course, we're going to continue this, obviously, this week. Tuesday, I'll probably do the Division 2, even though I'm not, like, really keen on that freaking game anymore, but since I paid $10 to do that damn manhunt, um, we can actually play the, um, Tuesday we'll be able to do the manhunt, then we gotta wait four more fucking weeks to do the last part, and look for Kelso, and blah, 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 blah. So... So we'll be doing this. We're going to finish up Dead Island 2. I have a bookmark the page so I can look up the last couple quests and lots and bounds that we need to do. And the DLC will be out somewhere. I think it's 25th or 26th of April is when the DLC will be out. Which would be great. And then I'm already doing John and Red Dead 2. I already, you know, many years later, and I'm married, got my kids, so, but I got to do the continuum, you know, never really got into the collecting and the animals and, you know, the legendary animals and blah, 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 so we're going to do all that crap and work on that, finish up those games while we wait for new games to come out this year, all right, so that is the plan, everyone, so Top Gun Mav. Thomas Lee, Benny and the Jets, OC Bodybuilders, everyone that's in lurky mode, that's watching in lurky mode, because I know people are in lurky mode. Some people have smart TVs, so they can't, like, chat, and then other people are just chilling and watching and doing their thing, and they don't feel like chatting, which is cool. But everyone, have a fantastic rest of your Sunday. Whether it's a religious one or a non-religious Easter, whatever it may be. Have a good one. Enjoy yourself. And if I don't see you tomorrow doing this one or Dead Island 2, we might do Dead Island 2 tomorrow. Then for sure, I'll see you on Tuesday. Cool. Oh, you're welcome, Benny. <laughs> For my saving the world. Thanks, Top Gun Map. Tusa. Hopefully you were in lurky mode. Tusa, if not, you'll have to watch the stream back. But happy Easter to you and your family, Tusa, if you celebrate it in whatever way, form, religious or non-religious or whatever. Cool. But I appreciate everybody watching. And again, we'll be around either tomorrow or tomorrow or Tuesday. Cool. You're quite welcome, Tusif. And we'll see everyone again. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant evening. And as always, remember what? Eddie, soldiers.